What's going on there, guys? Good morning, good afternoon. It is the Earth Master here on this Thursday, December 15th, 2022, straight up 9 a.m. California time here along the West Coast. Latest earthquake activity shows a 1.2 into the area of California. Uh, notice we did have some activity off the coast of Costa Rica earlier with a 5.7. Uh, actually, actually, just up north a little bit within that vicinity, though, of where we seen a swarm yesterday. All right, let's go ahead and check out uh, space weather activity here first from the Space Weather Prediction Center, folks. Uh, these guys monitoring the solar x-rays that have been popping off like crazy the past 36 hours or so. We had a number of M-flares, some of those up there close to the X-flare category as well, uh, over like I said, over the course of 24 and 36 hours here, we are still getting some uh, flaring activity, including one right now as we speak. Kind of uh, looks like it's up there into the M flare category. This would make, uh, oh, I don't know, number 17 or 18, I think, in the past 24 hours. We'll count those a little bit later. Either way, solar flare activity continuing, and these are coming from a uh, pretty good sunspot. Uh, what is that one? Hold on, stand by for a second here. That was really weird. Really weird. Um, yeah, so there's the uh, <clears throat> M flare that's kind of coming in right now to M2.0. Uh, notice the global D layer map here. This is centered on the sunlit side of the Earth. This is where the highest frequency blackout's going to be uh, due to the solar flaring that we're currently seeing that's centered over right over Central or uh, South America region. Looks like right around the Peru Chile Trench. Uh, there's the flaring activity continuing from 3165, sparking off a pretty good flare. Also, this one right here, 3163, is directly facing us. Let's check out these uh, specifics here of these sunspots. 3163 is more centered over here now, if you look at the latest data on this uh, map here. Directly facing Earth, and it is getting a little bit more dynamic here uh, with the instability of the magnetic structure that it harbors. And... That's 3163. Uh, that's not the one that's been producing all the flares, though. It's been this one, 3165 over here, producing well over 10, 15 flares, M flares. Uh, and, and, of course, C flares. If we count the C flares, add a whole bunch more on there. Uh, but just 15 M flares alone from this regional sunspot here, which is now just about to get out of view, far as the Earth view goes. But we still got this sunspot right here that I think we have... Uh, potential of seeing some further flaring uh, and some strong flares at that as well because looking at this map here definitely see it sparking up a little bit there and um, 3165 there pretty bright indicating that the uh, flaring so right now we still have 99 percent chance of a c flare 75 percent chance for an m flare x flare remains elevated at 15 percent chance we haven't seen an x flare yet but it's definitely not out of the question from one of those two sunspots 3163 uh, and 3165. Uh, that one harbors a uh, 3165 harbors a beta gamma magnetic class, uh, which does have potential for an X flare. Uh, also, 3163 here harbors a beta gamma class as well. Uh, not quite the X flare potential as 3165, but this one does harbor. Uh, a little bit of activity there, uh, instability at a C flare 40%, M flare around 10%. So we'll keep an eye on it. Uh, still think we have a good likelihood of possibly seeing that X flare uh, soon. Here's our latest M flare again, peaking up around the M 2.0 range. All right, uh, let's see what else we got here for earthquake activity around the map here. There's that movement, uh, yeah, north of Costa Rica here. There was a little bit of swarming activity here yesterday, and there still is some on the Earthquake 3D globe. But this 5.7 coming in just a, a couple hours ago off the coast of Central America, just off the coast of El Salvador, 74 kilometers deep into the Middle America Trench. Uh, activity along the west coast today. Let's go ahead and zoom in here, see what we got going on. Southern California, looks like a, another typical day down there. Not a whole lot of unusual swarming or unusual movement. Uh, 2.3 into the North American side of the plate boundary. Let me pull up the 2.5 and see what we have. Nothing. Zip zero. 
So all this activity across the board here, all microquakes. As we head up north, not a whole lot going on throughout the Bay Area uh, and Northern California over here. Some activity uh, mainly from yesterday. These two earthquakes here uh, looks like late afternoon time period. So nothing kicking up overnight there in California, that is. Uh, here in Washington, a little bit of earthquake activity, a 2.8 near Morton, Washington. That's southwest of uh, Mount Rainier. 20 kilometers deep for that earthquake uh, underneath the uh, the Cascades there, the Cascade Mountain Range. Mount St. Helens sits down here to the south about 20 miles. It's a little bit too far um, to have uh, any relation to that volcano. Uh, Mount Rainier having a little bit of activity around the park up here. A couple of small microquakes it looks like. Did have a 2.9 a little bit further south yesterday. Again, one earthquake after midnight looks about looks like about two o'clock in the morning. That point nine. All right, uh, see what else we got here. Yellowstone National Park. Check it out here. See what we have. It's always on my list. I always I'm always a big fan of watching Yellowstone. All right, uh, there is the. That looks like the five point seven showing up here on the bottom map here, just a couple hours ago down there, uh, as I showed you on the map. Off the coast of the El Salvador region, 5.7 down here. Let's double check that and make sure UTC time on this earthquake was right around 14:32 UTC time. So I'd like to go over here, 14, 14:30 is right here. But gotta remember these seismic waves take a little while to travel across and through the Earth, uh, and then we see that seismic wave reading right here uh, that showed up across uh, a good portion of the park there 5.7 down into the uh, middle america trench shown up there and of course last night we had that uh six oh, what was that earthquake over in um uh alaska right the 6.3 that kind of triggered the uh, other reading up here but far as localized activity goes there's not a whole lot a couple small microquakes here and there these are very well distinct uh, localized earthquakes one little one here but aside from that, uh, things look pretty calm there across Yellowstone currently. Uh, into Texas, New Mexico border here, south of Carlsbad, a 2.3. Looks like about 7.2 uh, 7 kilometers deep. Some movement outside of Midland as well, and the Oklahoma region getting in on some activity. Nothing major going on across the region, though, today. One little earthquake here. Into the New Madrid zone, Dale, Arkansas. That was from yesterday afternoon, a little 1.4. Eastern portion of the country looks pretty quiet. And uh, Puerto Rico Trench down here, kind of backing off on its earthquake activity and uh, confining most of that movement to the swarming regions there uh, between the trenches. South America, 1 4.9 just after midnight near Peru. Pretty shallow earthquake at about 10 kilometers deep. Uh, let's see what else we have across the region. Alaska, haven't really seen any further activity following that 6.3 that kicked up yesterday. A little bit of activity throughout the Aleutian Trench, but overall no major uh, adjustment or movement following this earthquake yesterday. Uh, nothing going on across the Western Pacific. Let me double check that though with the EMSC model here. Looks like we had an earthquake there off the coast of Baja, California as well. 4.0. I always like to check that and make sure. So there is some movement down there along the plate boundary. Uh, just south of the border it looks like on shore. Uh, Baja California region but the uh, Pacific Ring of Fire over here looks pretty quiet across the northwestern uh, segment 5.0 into the Papua New Guinea area that did show up here on the uh, USGS map 37 kilometers deep for that uh, earthquake and also a 4.9 in the Vanuatu area back building here 37 kilometers uh, deep Fiji area the Tonga Trench New Zealand not seen anything on the USGS map. Uh, some of this activity here, some older movement uh, from the GeoNet servers here, 4.3 and 4.9. Uh, so that should be getting ready to drop off the 24-hour map. So this area is our quiet zone again today and up here in the northwestern por uh, portion of the Pacific Plate. Over here around the Myanmar area, seen a 5.0 yesterday and also a 4.4 up into China. No further movement across this area today, though. And doesn't look like there's anything across the Mediterranean. There's got to be, though. This is a major plate boundary, major uh, 
region. So there's definitely going to be earthquake movement. Uh, it looks like there's some twos uh, in an older 4.3 on the map. No major uptick, it looks like, uh, across, this, uh, across the area. Uh, nothing going on across the Atlantic. Uh, looks like a 5.2 down in South Sandwich Trench from, was that yesterday? Oh, just after midnight there, 5.2, um, about 68 kilometers deep. Uh, Big Island of Hawaii, I was watching that this morning, couldn't sleep. I was getting all these notifications there on my phone about uh, earthquakes there in Hawaii. And uh, all of them, for the most part, have been around the Pahala area, getting a pretty good swarm of movement there. Not a whole lot around Mauna Loa or the uh, volcano there, uh, Kilauea. Let's go ahead and check out the latest activity here from the Volcano Hazard folks and or the uh, USGS. Let's see what they have for the uh, latest information. Mauna Loa, uh, they're down to updating, I think. It's going to be once a week now that the... Uh, let me see if I can get this going here. Now that the activity has kind of died down. Let me see when it was put out. Uh, yesterday, yeah, so they mentioned that they're only going to be putting out um, an update once a week now on each volcano unless something major changes. So uh, we're going to check out these seismograph stations here and see what we got. There's some of those earthquakes showing up across the um, across the board here. Let me bring this back up. Come on. Hello. There we go. A little weird. Um, some of those earthquakes were in the upper two and three range that are kicking up around the Pahala area, which just sits to the southeast of this Mauna Loa region, uh, the Pahala area around the southeast flank. Seen some of those larger earthquakes, so they will show up on the station, but we're still getting that odd reading across the board. And this odd reading is the unusual background noise that we're seeing across the area. Um, there's no major wind events. This has been pretty much consistent since the activity has died down. Um, and I'm talking about all these little spikes. Those look like an intense major earthquake swarm uh, across the area. Now, these are very small ones, but it still looks like there's a lot of stress built up here um, that's creating these very small earthquakes. Uh, we're not seeing that down here. Let's go down to the southeastern flank region. Of course, this one's not active. Um, check this one out here a little bit closer. So this is going to show the threes a little bit more prominent and it looks like it may be picking up some of the earthquake activity as well that I just showed you on the map. Some of the little smaller ones. But man, nothing like what we're seeing up at the summit regions where we're seeing a lot of these little microquakes all over the place and almost continuously. So I'm still a little bit uncertain and a little bit uh, nervous as to what's going on there underneath Mauna Loa currently. Uh, Kilauea Volcano, uh, looking at that same earthquake activity showing up there from Pahala. Uh, not quite as an intense movement of uh, earthquake swarming as we see on Mauna Loa. This is the Kilauea Volcano. Um, a couple small spikes there, but uh, again, definitely not like the Mauna Loa seismograph stations. And the tilt meter here, let's double check the, a couple of these tilt meters across the area of Mauna Loa. And we're still going up, definitely still going up here across the uh the summit region now i want to check down here around the crater of kilauea volcano see what's going on that one's not working zoom in a little bit closer here because just a little weird coincidence that uh both these volcanoes stopped at, at uh, the same time now this only goes back the past two days it's got a decline in the tilt um This is a little choppy here. Not for sure what's going on with that. Not uh, not the best size for the uh, tilt meter. There's a couple different tilt meters here. They're not working all that great. The ones at least I want to look for there in the crater are not working. So here is the, well, over the last month or so, it looks like, tilt meter monitoring station. So Kilauea Volcano been continu continuing a little bit up about the time oh Kilauea stopped erupting there a couple days ago right on the 10th so we're still getting that inflation and then a major drop here uh, around the th 13th time period now this station here is just on the uh, 
northeastern or northwestern rim of the crater area. I'd like to get some of these other ones to work, but uh, they're again they're a little bit on the choppy side. But uh, either way, we'll kind of keep an eye on it, see what that unusual reading is. A little on the weird side. Uh, let's see what else we got here across the area of um, GeoNet, New Zealand. I know we checked it, but I just want to make sure, see if there's anything being reported here from the GeoNet servers. Some smaller earthquakes, it looks like. A couple twos. I, I have the uh, Earthquake 3D globe set at 2.5 and above, so it's not going to be showing these little smaller quakes uh, on the map here. Even though GeoNet servers are listed, I do not have it set to go that low because then it well they're not even showing up on there uh it may be 2.5 and above for the geonet servers i think oh no 4.0 and above up here i see that so i can change that if need be but uh maybe we'll keep it at 4.0 and above and then 2.5 for the uh usgs 2.8 coming into the uh java trench area right now some movement south of Taiwan and around the Philippines area as well. A couple threes kicking off there. So we'll just kind of see how it plays out. We're definitely getting a major uptick in solar weather activity. We've seen uh, a couple large earthquakes yesterday. What is this junk? Every time I click on the solar ham site, it's kind of taking me to something weird. I don't know why it's doing that. Hopefully I don't have a virus. I better double check everything. I got virus protection, but sometimes it can get around that. It was just weird. That's the second time it did that. Um, yeah, there's that M flare that's peeking out. Notice the uptrend here still. Kind of popping, crackling with upper seas and lower M flares, similar to yesterday. So definitely keep an eye for an X flare potential as we go on throughout this Thursday. And of course, if anything major happens, I will definitely be back here to update that. Till then, have yourself a beautiful Thursday, and uh, we will chat you guys really soon. Have a good one. Peace out.